This is Sir Tap Tap. Let's resume playing Monster Chamber. There's some edited. The controls are edited a bit. Notice the sensitivity bar. So now let's kill myself while showing the controls. You have to click down to move your uh, vision around, which avoids the nausea problem, but it introduces a couple new problems. Um, a nice thing you can do though is just keep your gaze fixed and just walk around with the WASD keys and you just hold the space bar now to shoot so you can just be like yeah I'm gonna shoot you in the face and depending on your enemy not many gaze corrections like looking around is very necessary like when you get 8 billion of these guys they're pretty predictable, so you don't really need to aim around too much. In fact, let me show you what I was doing when I when I first started playing. I was just doing this. Don't really need to shoot. Just walk over here. And all of a sudden, they're back in my range. Doesn't work as well when there's so many of them, but in the beginner levels, like I beat like the first 30 levels like that. And yeah, we're on level 51 now. It wasn't where I left off, but there's 70 levels, and I didn't want to play everything on camera. So, to speed it up a bit, level 50. You did miss a new type of enemy, unfortunately, but I have a feeling we'll be seeing it more. It started on wave, like, 40. So, there haven't been many of them, but it's pretty cool. It's the yellow one, so you'll know it when you see it. Ow. Stop eating me. So, oh, that's another issue. Um, I don't want to show it since I've almost beaten this round, but if you're clicking and your mouse leaves the window, bad stuff happens, and then that's usually why I die, because of that. I'll show it off next wave and kill myself. Like, when your mouse approaches the edge of the screen, um... You want to release. You you got to drag your vision around basically, and you got to move back your mouse if you get too close to the edge. If it goes over the edge, you're in trouble. Which I'm not sure this is playing better than the old version of aiming, but it's different. I think it's it's less nauseating for one thing. I think it's less generally frustrating, but it's harder to use in some senses, but being able to just look forward and walk around is very nice. Oh god, these. Hey, buddies. They're not so tough, even when there's a billion of you. Yeah. Just jump right in my line of fire, I like that. Ah! Oh god, oh god. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. I mean, that's... Alright, so, mouse clicked, leaving window. Mouse re-entering window, and it's constantly held down. And it's really, really insane. So yeah, I click now, and then it's back to normal. But still fairly annoying, because if I want to turn around completely, I can't quite anymore. At least, if you set the sensitivity really high, it's not as much of an issue. But then you have to do really small mouse movements, which, depending, isn't that bad. Shoot. I'm very glad that when you click, when the mouse leaves the window, it really should pause. At least when you click outside the window. But not if the mouse just leaves, which is unfortunate. Ow. Please die. Please die. Okie dokie. Level 50. Yeah, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Hello, bouncy dudes. I don't mind the bouncy dudes that much. Hey, anyway, well, let's show you my old strategy. It should be valid for these guys. It's... It's very slow, but it works fairly well. You'll get hurt a little, but... Since there's health regen, it's not too bad. You just sort of aim slightly down, and shoot. 
and walk around in circles. And oh god, there's a lot of you. Oh god, there's a lot more of you now. Alright, let's start aiming before I die. Dying is not good. Not generally. It's a rule of thumb anyway. Well, okay, big guy left. I didn't know there. There are more of you than I thought there would be. This is this is unfortunate. And the game kind of slows down, at least on my machine. It's not a gaming machine by any stretch of the imagination, but yeah. And it honestly it just gets a bit tedious at this point. I do think the game could be a lot more concise. And maybe you could have, like, a survival mode that lets you, you know, maybe randomly generated waves and just keeps getting harder and harder. If you really want to do this kind of stuff, see how long you can survive. Personally, I lived up to level 45 before I died. I think I've only died twice now, counting the one on camera. Or did I die two times on camera? Yeah, it's it's gotten tough at least in some ways, but back. at the same time, it's more tedious. It's a lot more tedious than it used to be. Because the big once you get the big ones, they split into three other slightly less big ones, then they split into more. You just got piles and piles of enemies. I do like this screen effect, though. It's all pretty. It's pretty. Oh, no! It's a big one of you! The, um... The creator seems to think these are, like, the most horrifyingly difficult enemies, because they're... When you get them, there are always very few of them. But it's, like, meh. Like, they're less predictable and stuff. Oh, God, get away. Whoa! Yeah, sometimes they'll sneak around you like that, and then they're difficult... But generally speaking, they don't they don't tend to do that. It's just more of a possibility with them. What I think could be cool is like these guys, like something kinda like this, but they warp around every so often. Oh god. Um You know, and maybe like maybe it's only one warping one, so you don't get, you know, corn like they don't just spawn behind you and kill you. Or maybe if you gave, like, an indicator when something's behind you, that could be cool. Because, like, I like the enemies trying to be kind of tricksy. But... This isn't quite tricksy enough. Ah. It does make them more annoying to kill, but not all that much. I'd still rather have a few of these than a lot of the other things. Now, the yellow enemies are a bit... They're pretty tricksy. Oh god. It's a freaking cornucopia of demon thingies. This is the worst Thanksgiving ever. Okay. The pouncy ones need to die. Oh, everything needs to die, actually, but pouncy ones first. Die. Die. Also die. Stop that. Yeah. Now, if there were the blue, if you mix the blue ones that have the weird paths and the pouncing red ones, that would be, that'd probably be really painful. So I guess I'm okay with the control scheme now. The, uh, the creator actually commented on the last video, which I'm always glad to hear from creators. And that's a big part of why I decided to finish the game, but, well, so the controls were better. I, after having played it, I guess they do feel a bit better. They're, they have their annoyances, but I think the old one was a bit worse. Maybe I'd offer, a, like, an option between the two, but I think if I had to choose, I would probably choose this one. If, for one thing, if only just because you can stand still and move around. 
And maybe if the game could be played in full screen, like, just to keep your mouse in there, that would make it be easier. I don't... I've seen games do full screen, so I know Flash can do that. I... I don't know how easy it is to set it up like that. But... A big problem with this kind of game in a Flash thing is that Flash can't trap your cursor like, you know, a normal application could. And it makes the aiming awkward. Okay, Dino. Thank you. I'm gonna stop at 60 and we'll have another video for the last ones. Yes! It's the yellow ones! These guys are fun. I think this is the third wave I've seen them on. They bounce around and they have unpredictable patterns. They're pretty cool. So I'm kind of dreading if, like, on the last wave or something, they have bouncy, unpredictable ones that pounce at you. That would be... That might be kind of scary. But these are, guys aren't quite like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. They're just... I just like them. They're kind of... They're just fun. Maybe it's just the novelty. That's... That is always a big effect. Or can be. Especially when I've gone through 50 levels of, you know... What is it? Five times of NAs? And I get a new one, it's just always fun. Even when it's a pellet swipe. Just novelty is always good. Humans just like that. Unless it's with, um, you know... Interfaces, if you change interfaces when people are used to them. They do not like that. No matter how good your new interface is, generally, actually. Oh god, where's the thing? There it is. Okie dokie. Oh! Hey, buddy. You need to die. Even more so than the other ones. Oh, crap. Stop leaving the cursor, or the window, mouse. Stop leaving the cursor, window! Stop it. Just stop it. You're dying fairly fast. I'm... I'm, I'm proud of you, son. I'm proud. I am not disappointed at all. Ugh. Okay, after this wave, I'm quitting. Not because it's terrible, just because... I played the rest of the rounds... Oh, God. Um... I played the rest of the rounds over the last, like, couple hours I've been playing on and off, and... It just gets quite old. Like... 50, 50 levels would still be a lot, but like 40 levels, that I think that'd be fair. And you know, the difficulty can be ramped up quicker, especially at the start. And I definitely enjoy the ones that are mixes of the tougher enemies than the ones that are just tons of these guys. Because this is, just takes forever. And you know, dodging 20 of these is only slightly harder than dodging one of these. Because they're so predictable and they just have no tricks up their sleeve. And I, I swear the other ones must move faster or something. Because it seems like these ones just can't keep up at all. Not sure if that's true or not, but... Come on. All will die. Alright. Tune in next time for Wave 60.